Thank you for joining us today for this momentous occasion. I am Catherine Burgos, and I am proud to serve as the president of St. Agnes Hospital. As we continue our new journey as part of SSM Health, I am joined by other leaders, including Thor Gilbertson, Dr. Puneet Kumar, Dr. Richard Schaefer, Tammy Schatzschneider, and Tara Rhodes. It has been more than 125 years since Mother Agnes Hazat and the Sisters of St. Agnes courageously accepted a challenge from Dr. Frank Wiley to make a hospital in Fond du Lac a reality. Although a teaching order by tradition, Mother Agnes accepted, saying now that we have decided to go ahead, we will never turn back. That same determination is evident within SSM Health through its early legacy with the Sisters of St. Mary, led by Mother Mary Odelia Berger. Five years after their arrival from Germany, the sisters opened their first hospital, St. Mary's Infirmary. Their legacies are in our hands. Under our new SSM Health umbrella, we will continue to strive for excellence, create best practices, and deliver compassionate, quality care. Being a part of SSM Health has allowed us opportunities we otherwise wouldn't have had, and we're excited to see what the future brings. I now would like to introduce Dr. Matt Hanley Interim Regional President with SSM Health Wisconsin. Thank you, Catherine, and good morning to all. More than three years ago, our shared vision and mission to provide compassionate care and to honor the dignity of the people we serve brought Agnesian Healthcare and SSM Health together. Over that time, we have collaborated to face unprecedented challenges, learning and growing together to integrate our processes and develop and share best practices across Wisconsin region and throughout the SSM health system. We have much to be proud of, and today I am delighted to share in this special celebration. The most visible part of our transformation under the SSM health brand is the adoption of the name and logo. It is wonderful to formally acknowledge our strong bonds under a unified brand. Thank you to all of you for your continued commitment to our shared mission. I would now like to welcome Chaplain Amy Golm from our Spiritual Care Services team, as well as Sister Mary Noel Brown with the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Agnes, as they will lead us through our unveiling ritual. Throughout the Christian scriptures, there are stories of God changing someone's name. This was done to establish a new identity, which demonstrated that the person was born anew because of his or her relationship with God. You may recall that Abram was renamed Abraham, Jacob came to be known as Israel, Simon became Peter, and Saul was renamed Paul. A new name does not mean that the old name was unsuitable. Rather, it signified a new or expanded role, duty, function, or mission. The new name proclaimed that the one called was a new creation. For many Christians, a new name is given in baptism, also a sign of being a new creation. Renaming was a tradition among the religious sisters who founded SSM Health and Agnesian Healthcare. For example, Mary Hazett, who founded the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Agnes and St. Agnes Hospital, was given the name Agnes by Father Caspar Rarell, who had begun the order in 1858. Many years later, when St. Agnes Hospital joined with Fond du Lac Regional Clinic and then with Waupun Memorial Hospital and Ripon Medical Center, the new entity was given the name Agnesian Healthcare. Today, we celebrate another renaming. While the Sisters of St. Agnes turned over sponsorship of Agnesian Healthcare to SSM Health in 2018, we have held onto the Agnesian identifier. In many ways, this moment in 2021 marks the new creation begun then. Today, we take down the name Agnesian Healthcare from the buildings in the greater Fond du Lac region and rename all of the entities SSM Health. This action in no way erases the vision and history of Mother Agnes, her sisters, and the work of all who have served our communities through Agnesian Healthcare. Rather, it names who we are today. It recognizes that the mission that began when Mother Agnes responded to the invitation of Fond du Lac business leaders to build a hospital and grew from there continues and thrives because of the sponsorship of SSM Health. 
when the Congregation of Sisters of St. Agnes transferred sponsorship of Agnesian Healthcare to SSM Health, Sister Jean Steffes, General Superior, gifted a lantern to the leaders of SSM Health. We prayed, may the light of this lantern, which symbolizes the light of Christ within each of us, always emanate from the heart of each person associated with SSM Health. And may the same light of Christ shine brightly within the halls, patient rooms, and boardrooms of each SSM Health facility. As we unveil new signage reflecting the name change, brightly lit like the lantern given in the transfer of sponsorship, we recall the mission that has been entrusted to us. Each time we gaze upon this sign, may it remind us that Christ emanates from the heart of each person associated with SSM Health. And so we turn to God in prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for the gift of names which reflect your presence in each of us. As we unveil these new signs which proclaim the unification of the mission of Agnesian Healthcare with SSM Health, may we burn with the light of your Son, Jesus. May we embrace the SSM mission of revealing the healing presence of God, and may your light shine brightly within the walls of each SSM Health facility, especially in the greater Fond du Lac region. Amen.